It is the good life. Oh, hello. Didn't quite see you there. Welcome to a very special video today because we're recording it. It's a dinosaur love hotel. While I sort of bathe myself in the luxuries that only a dinosaur can spit up, uh, why doesn't downstairs James tell you more about this hotel? Oi, stupid! Fill more water, please. There's only so much bucket water I've got here. Yes. So hello and welcome to the Dinosaur Love Hotel, also known as Hotel or Artsia. I think it's like a kind of chain of these love hotels, but they do different things. And this one just so happens to be dinosaur related. How about we take a little look through the, the, the parking area before we actually get into the hotel itself. So this is the underground car park where we've got murals of, anyway, we have dinosaurs. And then over here, we've got a big T-Rex. Beautiful. Just kept me waving my arms underneath the dinosaur. Go on, come to life. Shazam. A T-Rex? I think it's a T-Rex. Uh, there with its eyes closed. You've also got a Tyrannodon. This place is bonkers. You also got a Tyrannodon there. A Triceratops, isn't it? Who's a little kitty? Yes, you are. So this place, as you can quite clearly see, is filled with animatronic dinosaurs. And we're going to see a lot more of those as we go on our tour. So how about we go upstairs, shall we? And so here we have Blue, or, or Beta. I can't really remember. They're quite small, so we'll call you Beta. Another one of the animatronic dinosaurs here you're going to you're gonna witness, or, or uh, yeah. <laughs> here we have w almost one of the biggest animatronics. I think it might be. This is the T-Rex, who also comes alive. As you can see, his arms are moving. He's, he's even blinking, and I think his jaw and everything else moves. We've also got like, what sounds like construction, but actually it is construction all the way over there. But ignore that, that'll disappear eventually, I'm sure. Do I dare touch this? <laughs> So onwards, up we go! And then here, the biggest of the animatronics, a Brachostachosaurus, 20 million feet tall. Uh, it is actually ginormous. I don't even know if this one moved. No, it does! It does, it makes noises as well. Am I in shot? It's absolutely massive. This thing is crazy big. You've got even like search lights to just make sure that you can see it. And there we go, this way. And just in case you missed it, another blue and beta. Complete copy, if you've ever seen Dominion. And I, I think these ones move. Tired today. So here we are outside the entrance to our dinosaur hotel. Love hotel. A little bit of that going on, but it's mainly dinosaurs. <laughs> so outside greeting us, of course, none other than the T Rex. Looked kind of like a Giga, but I'm pretty sure it's a T Rex. So we've been given exclusive access to record one of the presidential suites, which is, I think, the only one they have. And it's the most expensive. So Looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in there, uh, as well as the rooftop terrace, which they have like the entirety of the roof they've redone out to be dinosaurs and stuff. Let's uh, not waste any more time and uh, have a look and see what this place has. Okay, so in we come. And what greets us at the entrance, but a, um, I oh, know it doesn't feel like talking today. Have you go across it? No, okay. Oh, oh there it is. Hello. You've got a huge T-Rex fossil on the wall here, as well as the Jurassic Park theme playing throughout the hotel. So I'm hoping I don't get claimed too badly by that. The Jurassic Park Arcade? This is, this is getting more interesting. I don't mean to brag, but I braved the very wobbly bridge and made it to the front desk. Oh, okay, that moves. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Then we had to take the elevator. Okay, this, this seems- Oh, bloody hell! Oh, <laughs> Safe to say this is the last thing you want to happen in an elevator. <laughs> This is amazing. Three of a Paris Rothers. But hold on there. Before going to the room, we were allowed to check out the communal areas. But of course, this meant getting into the elevator of doom again. That really makes me. Don't like light. Unfortunately, there is no dinosaurs, but you have a, a lovely darts. In Japan, they like to play electronic darts, so there's no cheating. It's, it's kind of like a mini pub in a way. In love hotels, you're supposed to be. You're not supposed to see other people. I don't know if you just have this room to yourself or if you book it for a certain amount of time. This is the karaoke room where you have your two microphones, your, I guess, tablet. Is this where you select your songs? No amount of dinosaurs in here, unfortunately, but you still do get 
a lovely floral wall. I came here for dinosaurs. Uh, by Jove, I was going to see some. You have a full on tree house up here. I want to know how they got a massive T-Rex. I love this is the biggest, it's bigger than the one downstairs, this T-Rex animatronic. I'm going to get around this way. Look at that. Oh my God. Now, oh, you know, feeling when like you see a cut or something, you go, ooh, go a bit like that. I'm getting this from, from seeing this giant T-Rex and then also seeing eight stories down. It's a bit, oh. <laughs> king of the world. I mean, I mean, a king of Jurassic world. Yay. It's a little hidey hole. Hello. I then made the most of my time while I was up there. <laughs> They've got a zip line, although I don't dare go on it. Going on an adventure, just like David Attenborough back in the good old days. <laughs> oh, this me. Oh, oh no, this is, this is unstiff. I might die. There is a big red button here. Should we dare press it? Ah, oh, didn't do anything. I feel like I'm running on sunshine. This area is for kids, uh, which is interesting. I guess this is where you drop the kids off, I assume. <laughs> I mean, I assume it's safe. Maybe a kid might climb that, but you, this electric fence, but not really. But you've got a climbing frame, you've got a T-Rex to, to watch over them. Whitney, 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 Whitney. It has a pooper. <laughs> wait, wait. Da, da, no, da, 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 da. Yeah, you got it. And now let's transition to the next shot. Ah! So before we head to the presidential room, how about we show you one of the executive rooms? Hello, nice of you to come in. Come on, come on. Welcome to Dinosaur Atlantis. There's a lot of things to take in as soon as you enter this room. Of course, one of them, the main, the main one, is this. I wonder what things they would have to say. So we've got a very underwater kind of theme. You've got some like little crystally bubbles there. Of course, you've got the fish. And if we come over here, what well, is quite questionable to say it was underwater, friggin' Dilophosaurus. Uh, not exactly sure why we have this guy here, but I'm not going to complain because I get to ride it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I need me stirrups. Hold on. Look at me, mom. Does, is it? Oh, oh, it is opening its mouth and stuff. I wouldn't turn down an opportunity to ride a dino. I don't know if you would, but here we are. All the decisions in my life have led to this moment right here. There's lots of questions. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Your tail's not moving, though. You're a little bit limp and lifeless back there, pal. Am I? Of course I'm happy, Whitney. I'm exuberant. Oh, I didn't like that word. And to complete the aquatic theme that we've got going on, you've got a mosasaur along the back wall. Very evil looking, but it does complete the mood. But at least they've made it look like a bit like a beach and they've got some stones. Yeah. What they've done is actually a bit of a service because you have all these fish and then you have the bed over there, but there's this wall blocking you kind of from the bed. So I guess the fish don't get to see, so you do get some privacy. <laughs> oh, look, I'm, I'm glad I checked that because I was a bit worried that it wouldn't be able to take my weight because now I'm a fat. In we go. Why am I always finding weird things to perch on? I'm a little egg. Eggs. Excellent cinema. What do we have? Oh. <laughs> well, I saw the front! If you, look, if you look at the front, it has like Clifford, I don't even know what this movie is. And then even on the back, look, you've got, okay, hide that one. Uh, but then these are, these all look like regular movies. And then you, you, you look inside. You might be thinking, uh, with a giant clamshell for a bed, a uh, Dilophosaurus fish, what more could this room have to offer? Welcome to the bathroom of utmost extravaganza. So here you've got a lovely little wash sink. Look at that, yeah, it's like a rug. Not only do you have that, but if you look here, you have your own private sauna. 
so you can sit in there and get lovely and sweaty. You got volume? Oh, well, it's it's very quiet in here. Uh, we can sit down. You got a little place for your drink things? Uh, the volume, you can even do the settings out here. Luckily, there's no lock button, so I can't... It's for radio. You can be here and listen to the radio. Oh, I can feel the heat coming on now. Uh, the heat, the heat's coming in. Okay, well, well, we'll turn this off. There we go. Ah, there it is. That's all we needed to do. Is turn it off. And if that wasn't enough for you, uh, a huge bathtub, or a jacuzzi, I think. Although I'm not going to fill it up because that would probably take ages. But the piece de la resistance of this room. You've got a place to poop. No, I, th I think what you're supposed to do. It's just a, there we go. It's not that hard, is it? I think we put a head here. I could be wrong. So there we have it. That was one of the more executive rooms that you can get here at Hotel Artsia. Uh, this is, of course, the underwater theme. You've got a hammock, you've got fish, you've got a mosasaur on the wall, and also a Dilophosaurus in case, you know, you want to go for a ride on a dinosaur. So with that being said, how about we go check out the most premium, expensive, and luxurious room that they have to offer here. Oh, hey, look! It's a T-Rex! You can get your own in the link in the description down below! Go on there, buddy! Let's go see that room! One last trip in this lovely elevator, and we'd be there. Oh, this one has a T-Rex! Bye! Ooh, boy! So here we are in the presidential dinosaur suite, the highest this hotel has to offer. And what do we see but the almighty T-Rex on the wall? On the wall. Pièce de la Résistance is the, um, the sort of replica of the Velociraptor and Protoceratops fossil that is based on a real thing, uh, a, a sort of a battle trapped in time. I'm assuming it's not the real one, or else that would probably cost millions. Ooh, look at this! This, oh yes, look at that. In this really echoey room, you've got a lovely mural of, I think, some Schweik T-Rexes. <laughs> oh, we got an empty wall. Yeah, let, let's do that. As well as, like, a jacuzzi. Bougie-ass place this is. Prepare yourself. Go 65 million years back in time through this door. Come with me. And look what we have here. A whole room dedicated to... An actual T-Rex. Give me a second, we'll be right back. Oh, we've also got a go-go button as well, which I'm a bit uh, concerned about. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it didn't move. Oh, look at his tail goes as well. <laughs> This is a love hotel, by the way. I don't know why we have this here, but it's here. Do I want to know what things have happened on this saddle? Probably not. Pro probably, probably don't want to. T-Rex isn't letting me down now. Yeehaw! Welcome to the Dinosaur Rodeo! My name's James. How you doing? This here's Clarence. <laughs> oh, as long as he's still blinking, that means there's life in there somewhere. Ah, yes. Oh, thank you, Clarence, for stopping there and letting me off. Yeah, go back to sleep until I see you next time. Hey, fist bump. Ah, rascal. Here we are on the rooftop terrace. Now, there's supposed to be a hot tub here um, that uh, like, overlooks like a, a lovely view, and it's supposed to have like a dinosaur there. So I'm looking forward to going and seeing see what that's all about, because apparently there's also like a giant T-Rex there. I mean, kind of see the tail, right? All right, one more. Okay, okay but this is my so bad, not go, yours. Go, go, go. As if that wasn't enough, we also have a bathtub. <laughs> this is amazing. What? So you have like, you have like a Comsoc Navis and then a huge bathroom you could bathe under the stars with a giant T-Rex. You can run this. Which one is the, the, the on and which one? Ah, I love bathing in dinosaur throw of water. Isn't that brilliant? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. So that was the video. Hotel Audio, a hotel filled with dinosaurs and a lot more than just dinosaurs, as the whole video has kind of showed you. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, right, one more. There you go. <laughs> oh, bye bye. We don't want to get the microphone wet. <laughs>